Hello students, this is Dr. Singhal. Uh, I wanted to do this uh, video to show you how to use some of the manipulators for output in C++ that we don't have time to do in the class and hopefully you'll watch this video and read the ebook uh, and you will understand their use. Okay? Alright, so Manipulators are used for C++ output placement. Uh, we are going to discuss three of, actually, four of them, set W, left, right, and set fill. And set W has been discussed in the ebook, the version that you have. I've added the set fill in the newer one, which you don't have. And left and right are pretty obvious. They will become clear when we discuss the example. And the reason we need to do this is because the standard C++ does not have any graphics to build tables. Uh, there are C++ libraries built for different platforms, but the one that works on Windows is not going to work on Mac or Unix and so on. So they're not very useful. And all these, not the left and right, but set w and set fill require, just like set precision does, inclusion of iomanip header file. Okay. So first, I'm going to discuss in the text, uh, in my notes, Microsoft Word, the set w and set fill, just to give a basic idea, and then I'm going to show you an example, code example which since I'm using Mac uh, it has been done in something called Xcode which is the compiler of C++ for Mac but that doesn't make it really any difference the source code if you do it on Windows is going to be the same okay alright so let me go to my notes uh, and describe some more things to you by the way this is in lecture 4 uh, in the ebook so we want to talk about manipulator set w <clears throat> and set w is used to set the width basically the field width of the output okay your actual output may actually be smaller than that that's what you will prefer and we describe these are the characteristic of set w uh, you should read set w as something a manipulator that sets the width meaning is that set w function takes an argument to reserve number of columns or number of characters in uh, console output character and column is the same thing for the next output because one column is one character width on the display okay set w is used to align data such as numbers or in strings in columns in general and build tables and the syntax of call to set w is used uh, looks like this set w uh, parenthesis n parenthesis closed n is a integer that fixes the field width of next output so another words you can say n as field width specification and field width and number of columns and number of characters are the same thing in this case. So field width is really number of columns or number of characters that we are reserving for the next output. Actual characters may be different. And if manipulator left is not used, which left aligns the next output, then set W and applied before next output will place data in n columns right justified. So if you don't apply a left or uh, before your next output, your output is automatically right justified inside the n field width. Okay? And if there is a proviso however in C++ that if actual number of columns or characters in the data to be outputted is larger than n which is the field width the specification then set w is ignored because 
C++ is designed not to cause loss of data in an output process. You could specify precision like in floating point. That's not a loss of data. You're actually just putting a mask in front of the data. Actual data is not lost. But same thing is, uh, or set w is ignored. Number of columns in set w ignored. If your data has happens to be larger width than the width defined by set w. Okay. And one call to set w is used just for that output that is being made next to it. It must be recalled each time before an output is intended. Okay. This is useful in aligning data in columns. And as I said earlier, alignment in field width is right justified unless a manipulator left is used to left align all the data from point of application where left was used. Okay, so I'm going to show you first couple of uh, examples, output examples, where set w has been used first without using any as is, and later uh, we change that by using the manipulator left. So let's go to our code example. And after code example, I'm going to come back to this text and talk about set fill. All right, so here's the code example. Okay, okay so here's my program. I've used the IO manip and IO stream. The string really was ne not needed. Uh, I had that because I was doing something with the string here, which I'm not going to talk about in this example. So first I'm going to show use of set w when alignment is in field width is default, which means you have not really aligned the data right to, to the left. Okay. So this line here shows me Oh, sorry. The column numbers, column number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 0 means 10, and then once again, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and so on. So we have to be kind of, uh, remember that 1 is not, 1 here is 11, and 2 is 12, and so on. Okay. So on this line here, I'm setting the field width to be 10, and then Okay, so actually I already changed it. Uh, it's not default. I'm saying that uh, a line next, next output to the left. Okay. And then I'm printing the hello. But notice, after that I do not have a set W and I have a character X. All right. So when this line is outputted, its output looks like and I'm having a hard time having them all. Actually, I'm just going to copy and paste that underneath that, although I'll delete it later. So, <clears throat> output of this line looks like that. This is not the code line, this is just the output that I just pasted. So, notice that hello was allotted 10 widths left aligned and it does that see each start with the column one and in the first 10 width we do have hello and the default space but then the x is in the 11th column here okay and there was no set w here so x just outputs whenever the field width of 10 is expires, completes, okay? So that's how that works. I'm gonna undo it now. <clears throat> but then what we do is we wanna print right justified. And the reason I have to put a right here because I put a left, if I didn't have 
the left here I wouldn't need to do anything because by default alignment is right so since I changed the default and made the left before this line over here I had to go back to the right put the right here otherwise if you want all the output to be right justified you don't have to do anything all right okay so <clears throat> this time we're saying right justify hello in 10 columns set w 10 columns so <clears throat> it'll do that and then we print x right after that and the output of this looks like this no not this one this one oh no sorry Okay, so it did print right justified, but since there was no field with specified with x, it's going to put x right next to it. Okay, it ignores the fact. Uh, basically, the reason it does that is because it prints. Oh, wait a minute. Is it right justified? Okay. I think I have some error here. Hold on a second. Okay. So it looks like when I copied and pasted, my output kind of got messed up. But output of this line, in fact, I'm just going to copy the code and show you code just above the... So really, this out... Sorry. This output came from this code line here. So what happens here is I set the manipulator right, so it's saying that print 10 field width, in 10 field width, hello, and then x. And it does exactly that actually. So, um, so up to here you can see that this is 10th, so hello output really ends in the 10th 10 field output uh, and then x is after that okay so that's that and then let me undo this and then p comes from this line where i'm saying okay print p right justified because i've done the right here in 10 field width so if i copy and paste that just above this so you can see that this is aligning with the 10th character so 9 blank before that so p got printed in 10 field width also okay Okay, that's pure use of set W. We have not aligned, uh, and of course, left and right manipulators. Uh, in the next video, because I'm almost end of this one, part two of, uh, so this is part one. Part two of this, I'm going to show you more of this. Okay? Oh, actually, this is not part, sorry. This is part one, and I'm going to have part two of this to show you more of that. So, uh, we'll go back to the same example. Each video can only be 15 minutes, so I'm all, almost nearing that. All right? Thank you for watching this one. I'll show you shortly in the part two of use of manipulator set the blue left, right, and set fill.